amazing. Santolati is a shark, but right now he wants to find his inner tuna and move around a little bit. What an analogy, by the way. That took me a little second. That was beautiful. What to do is what to do is do. Move in a circular fashion. Pick off shots from the outside. He does not want to step straight into that fire. Just to see what happens. So the first shot from Kamal Magomedov will be the most interesting, in my opinion. Ole doing a great job of staying on the fight, working behind the jab. Does not want to be a static target for somebody who has the same kind of grappling prowess as Magomedov. Starting to chew up that lead leg a little bit. His redness is showing already. Brave Nation, when you kick the calf like that, it damages the nerves underneath. The ankle no longer has the ability to work. It's very smart. Metal being such a competent grappler, some competent wrestler. You take out the lead leg, you take a little bit of pep out of that step. Sassalati doing exactly the right thing, staying on the outside, picking his opponent apart just a little bit while circling. So what he wants to keep up. Trying to hit that counter, right hand. He needs to get that back against it, back and off the cage. Metal started big checking those kicks. That can leave you open to other problems. So big, big wide checks now. And even if you're checking the kick, the foot can still wrap around and catch the car. Oh, head kick from Mago Metal. Doesn't fall away, but he needs to, oh, Santolari needs to get off that cage. Magomedo will see that pressure him may hit the takedown or initiate the clinch. Oh, caught. Oh, what a beautiful hook there. Magomedo going into this fight now. And these guys are very, very evenly matched. Shout out to our matchmaker Sam Brett. Doing a great job putting these fights together. Beautiful stiff shot from Michael Medoff. Oh, he felt that momentarily stunned. And again, that jab. He stunned bad. Brave Nation, it's a mistake always in this sport to check how strong somebody's shots are by looking at their muscles. Big elbows, perfectly legal to the side of the head. My only Santa Lati himself is a BJJ Brown belt, it must be said, but in only a knee time, beautifully right yes, into the mount. mount. Beautiful jiu-jitsu from Michael Medov, takes the back. Hooks are in. Already has three wins by a rear naked choke, could be setting up the head on. Go right back into the mounted position. This is pick your poison territory, Kirik. If you're on your back, you're giving up the mount. If you try and roll to your front, you give up the back. Medov doing a great job right now. Santa Latte holding on for dear life. Magomedov has his head clear now. He's gonna, he, what, he, what he's gonna do now is throw punches, try and pin the hands, control them, more punches, and eventually an elbow. Holy Santa Latte tried to sneak out the back there. Again, his neck's right now. Throwing ele heavy elbows. Taking the back once again, one hook in. Santolati needs to do something here. Oh, he managed to work back up to his feet. This is incredible, Kerrick. Oh, I tell you what, I do love fights. This is brilliant. That jab from Magomedov is working beautifully, but a one-two reply from Santolati. The momentum is going to Kamal Magomedov. He thinks he's got his opponent's measure. Santolati needs to get his head off the center line. That head is not moving, but eats a big knee and a big hook. Oh. Michael Meadow smells blood in the water, but Santa Lati is not out of this by any stretch of the imagination. Michael Meadow has huge faith, huge trust in his power to take a shot. You wonder just how much that exchange on the ground took out of only Santa Lati, and he is eating jab after jab here. Needs to implement some head movement. How much does he have left in the tight? How much did getting up from that mount and back mount take out of him? He's still attacking that leg. You have to give him credit for his staying power here. Tenacity. Oh. Take down attempt from Ole Satellati. Pressuring Magomedov against the cage. Not much closer than I thought he would with that one. Magomedov remains calm. Calm as ever. Turns to his corner. Looks. See if they've got any advice. Takes it in. Santolati, good head positioning there underneath the chin. Break off elbow. And on the take and take one will be huge here for Oli Santolati. Into the back mark position. A little bit of a moral victory here for Oli Santolati yeah. being the first fighter to take the This is where it gets incredible.
incredibly interesting character. Dynamic and the fight may have just changed. You know, where it gets incredibly interesting is the doctors in this corner. Only the amazing Santolani has sustained soft tissue damage to his face. The doctors are examining it very, very carefully. There are areas where a small cut means the fight is over. Now, there's also areas where a big cut with a lot of blood has no long-term effect. We have a world-class medical staff in there. They have some important decisions to make right now. I just want to refer to something we saw in the replay there, Kiri. Holy Santalate attempted a knee in the clinch. Michael Medov scooped underneath, scored a beautiful takedown. Technically, that was beautiful work. But look at the face of Ole Santa Lati. Referee Deggy Larkin clearing the cage. And that to me shows just how, when utilized correctly, just how devastating the job can be in mixed martial arts. Those cuts, Brave Nation, are under the eye, which is typically, although not always, quite a bit less potentially injurious than over the eyes. The first also off the eyelid. I think we're good as far as the cuts sustained so far are, are going. For the first time in his professional career, finds himself in the second round. He's still wary of his leaving his neck exposed here by a guillotine. And let go by Mano Medov. And right now, he turns the defense into attack. This is not where Oli Santalati wants to find himself. Big question. <laughs> Kamal Magomedov right now, Brave Nation. Is he, does he stay in this position and pound, or does he try to pass the guard? There is no wet and only Santa Latte trying to work, trying to create angles for himself, but right now he finds himself on bottom. Magomedov again just transitions seamlessly into that mounted position. I like the feel to see a rinse repeat. Punches, arm control, more punches, elbows. And it fatigues him. Oh, I like the fight. Oh, escape. Holy Santalati is a warrior. Barely able to see out of that left eye, but still working to make something happen. Great composure being shown by the British fighter. Again, trying to show him the take down. Big elbows to the side of the head. Down, yeah. Right now, you just wonder for a third time, can only Santolati get to his feet from this position? His hip movement, Bill, looks fresh. It does not look like an exhausted fighter. Mm. Oh, landing an elbow there. A little bit errant to the back of the head. Got a warning from referee Dickie Larkin. And just look at that flame off from Camille Magomedov. It's little things like that that show just how dangerous he is and just how clued in he is when it comes to the fight game. The amazing, uh, the amazing transition, full close guard now. He wants to control the head, stop his opponent from posturing back where the opponent's got leverage to throw down big, big shots. Holy trying to reach that guard up. They try and hit up the, the arm safe of Magomedov, but again, credit to Santa Lati trying to make things happen. Feet on the hip. Magomedov again, just like a hot knife through butter into the mounted position. Could we be the beginning of the end here? Has the neck with this? Not quite, but again, having Kamal Magomedov on top of you at this stage of a fight when you've already expended so much energy he's expended energy bill but he's also shown he can stand up from there and he knows he can do it again from the fire into the flames again body triangle now from Agumedov. Agumedov eating big shots two minutes left to go in the round body triangle is not completed transitions the one hook into the half guard or half back take so to speak Deep breath from Oli Santolati and the fact that he's, oh, big elbow. That elbow may have been, as you put it earlier, a little errant. And he's up. That is incredible from Oli Santolati, but he is leaking worse than a badly installed kitchen top right now. Santolati now wants to get the hard point of his hip underneath those hands, 
hip forward as he pushes on the hands, trying to rotate the hands out and escape that grip, but it's a lot easier said than done. Hey, mentally, if you're Kamal Magomedov, he must be thinking to yourself, like, what do I have to do to get this guy out of here? Bigger four grip to try and break. I think referee Dick Larkin may be bringing. No, nope, breaks them up. I thought he was going to bring the doctors in to have a look at Ole Santolati. Only on the offensive. Oh, scores the takedown. Quite. Grips, grip finds those legs. And up again. Nice work from Camille Magomedov to get back to the feet. And again, Ole Santolati expanding a lot of energy. up to the 30 second mark left in the second round and it's going to be interesting when the doctors take a look at the face of Ole Santolati and those cuts because he is very much cut big elbows from Magomedov oh you heard Ole Santolati exclaim there the frustration to him but he's using his arm to hide the head so he's getting elbowed in the arm but Magomedov's shot selection has just been so intelligent here so with every molecule of my respect, I want to extend it to Ole Santolati. Unquestionably, unquestionably. So this, this, this is a real hallmark of his game. Like you, you almost need to, it's like something out, out of, I don't know, a comic Santolati book, he just keeps coming. Like he was hit in the back of the head. We did not see it from our position. We're getting a look at a replay here. Oh, they're to the side of the head, they're legal. The back of the head constitutes as a three-inch strip from the crown all the way down. Brave Nation, imagine holding a cell phone on the top of your head and running it all the way down the back. The punches cannot fall in that mohawk-like area. A good rule of thumb is when you hit that area, catch a little bit of ear, and it's legal. Ole Santolati still on the ground. Referee Deggy Larkin is over taking a long, hard look at this. Communicating with the corner, communicating with the doctor's team. Ole Santolati is still going to go to a third round. This is incredible. Ole Santolati perhaps one of the toughest fighters we have ever seen in the Brave Arena. Brave Nation, we just saw the doctor give a thumbs up signal. He looked at the location of the cut on the back of the head. Gave us a thumbs up, so it's on. Decky the Bandit Larkin shooing everybody out of the ring. We are seconds around away from one more incredible round. Holy Santa Lati is a with your shield or on your sword type of fighter. Kamal Magomedov for the very first time in his career going to a second and third round. No questions about the gas tank of Kamal Magomedov. Oh, only eats a shot coming in. There, there, some of those look like they're in the back of the head. Only they're not to the back of the head. Keep fighting. Referee Deggy Larkin once again warns Magomedov. Santolati sucking in that single leg. May go behind, may try and switch it off to a double. So impressed, not just with Kamal Magomedov, his dominance in this fight, but the staying power, the heart, the tenacity. The fortitude of Ole Santolati Kerik, absolutely incredible. It's an honor to witness. And of course, it's an honor to witness the incredible skills being showed by Kamal Magomedov. Correct. Thought of as being primarily a wrestler, but he's showing exquisite striking. Santolati with a huge takedown, dipping into the reserves, a crimson mask adorning the face of Ole Santolati. Stop, 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 stop. Time, time. Stand up, we're not sure why. Maybe they're calling the doctor in. Come on, Deggy Larkin, I think, is calling the doctor in to look at the cuts. And Kerik, this is something that isn't often talked about in MMA. Losing that amount of blood is going to deplete the, the, the gas tank, it's going to deplete the reserves, it's going to make the fighter weaker. 
As I understand it from talking with any number of medical professionals, the amount of blood that you see appears to be a lot, but it's, it's a third of a pint, something like that. The amount of blood loss here is not that significant. What is significant is the location of the cuts. If the cuts are near a nerve, then it's not the skin that's getting cut. Skin heals very, very on the face, heals very, very quickly. On the head, heals very quickly. But if there's nerve damage underneath those cuts, then the fight has to be stopped. As I said, we have not one, but two excellent fight doctors in the Brave Combat Federation cage right now. They're gonna be giving their opinion, and we're gonna get it very, very shortly. The referee Deggy Wagon having a long conversation with Ole Santalati. There's no quit in that fighter. Kamal Magomedov in purgatory right now, not knowing if he's going to continue to fight or if he's going to be awarded the victory. And the and fight, fight is all over. over. Kamal Magomedov is into the deepest waters he has ever been in in his mixed martial arts career. Ole Santalati showing once again why he is considered one of the toughest MFers in the sport. Let me just say, Bill Campbell, come on, Magomedov is a 10. He just pushed his record to 10 and oh, this man is perfect. He's gonna get a title shot. Next fight, title shot. Combat Federation cage and he's gonna make it official all right Brave Nation another exciting battle inside the Brave CF 63 cage this bout comes to an end at one minute and eight seconds of the very third round your referee Decky Larkin stops the fight fighter unable to continue and your winner Come on, my God, man!